Um, any other notes in here? I'm sure there are. Ha! Herbert's letter. Um, 12th of January, 1839. Dear... Monsieur Florbel, I'm sorry to hear about your daughter Justine's unruly behaviour. Rest assured that this does not diminish your work, nor does it make your idea of the natural developing mind less appropriate as a field of study. I have met plenty of scholars here in London enthralled by your hip hypotheses and stated that it could be one of the more important ideas of the whole of the modern era. It has been suggested that the, ma the mind is not only moulded by experience, but could also be stricken with disease without a psychological sign. Perhaps this line of thinking could be applied to your child. I wish I could devote my letter consolidate to consol consolidation. However, I write to you with a request. I require passage into Algeria, and I need Frenchmen of great standing to vouch for my person. I am certain the name of Flaubel would greatly speed the process and grant me the permits I require. It pains me to ask this of you in your time of distress, but if you could suffer my inconvenience, I would be greatly in your debt. Yours sincerely, Herbert. Right, so that was the guy who he went to, who Daniel went to Algeria with, wasn't it? Okay, that's the that's that last slide I'm looking for. Results: the tests have been going well. The more the most long term and in a sense the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she's able to effortlessly reduce all her experience into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proved more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I am asking. Right, okay. Tinder. There's nothing in there. Another tender. In the bottom. Nope. There's a book under here. Good stuff. <laughs> nice. I don't know, it's side. That's almost like a bottle flip, isn't it? A book flip. Um right, so I think it's I think we've done everything we can. Um, if we go over to that box that I looked at before, this one, you put a Tinder in here, and then we look, we have, we'll put slide one in there, as you can see it's, I don't even know what that is, um, slide two, that's the swordsman I guess. Slide three, that's the kneeling one. And that's the standing one. So we have all four of our slides. Now we go into the room with the the guy in here. I think it's four and three. Four in here. And three in there. And we pull the lever. Oh, this is right. Look out for your feet. That demon. She may still be close. And there we go. That's the second guy saved. Right, so to advance, I think we're going here. There should be a bookcase opened. Alright, I think of somewhere else. Yep, it's in here. Alright. Let's progress. There's another lantern thing. Not a lantern, but anyway, gramophone thing. Um. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes. That is a comforting thought. Mm-hmm. Saves us some try. Alright. Um so we're into this room now. Which definitely does not look like somewhere where the guy would come after us.
I have no idea what to do right now. to my left or to my right. He's to my left. He's out here. He's to my right. He's going to the room. Or left. Ideally. I don't quite know. Still around. I heard him. sneak around him. Or not. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. He's coming back, that's for sure. You're not bloody kidding. I can't see him at all. Is he calling me a cunt? He's like, I will kill you, cunt. Did you have to get stuck on the stone? Really? Jump! Right, okay, I'm going. Don't know where to. Tunnels. Jammed? You kidding me? I can't see anything at all. I must admit to this is a big rip of the original plan, but she liked the added excitement. Oh, that was all about. It must have seen me at the last moment. <sighs> okay. I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Uh huh. Yeah, we surely can. Right. I don't think the mechanics exist in this game, so I don't have to worry about any water dwellers. Right. We need a lever of some sort to get there. Wait, does she have a mementos page? No. Right. 
Okay. This is where the third guy is found in here. What? Oh, bloody hell. Come on, game. Anything else in here? Ah, oh, there's a note. I think I didn't see you there, Mr. Note. Oh. Out the way. Let me pick it up. Damn you. Let me pick it up. Don't, don't, I want the letter. An open letter. Monsieur Flabelle, my name is Daniel, a friend and colleague of Professor Herbert. Ah, Sir so Daniel. As I have come to understand, you are among his most trusted friends and confidantes. Conf conf oh, I forget, I give up. Therefore, I shall reveal my predicament in hope that you can shed some light on the matter. Early this year, Herbert and I set out on an expedition to the deserts of Algeria. While looking for the legendary tomb of Tin Hinan, we happened upon a cavern temple buried deep beneath the sand. In its inner sanctum, I retrieved a stone orb which cracked and split into several pieces. Due to exhaustion, exhaustion, I was sent back to Britain and waited for his return. I have since lost all contact with Herbert and I find myself deeply troubled by the whole affair. I believe Herbert knew more than he was telling and he has sent me back to protect me from an ancient horror we may have stirred. If you could share an insight on the matter, I would be most grateful for having your debt, Daniel. Right, so I guess... Um... Justine's father and Daniel worked on the same thing, maybe he knew Alexander? I don't know. It seems clear that um, Justine's father worked with um, Herbert and Daniel though. That much is obvious. But apart from that, I have no idea. Right, so we'll use this one here. Right, where is he? Is he? He's not in here, is he? Tell me he's not. Oh, I'm crapping myself. You're supposed to be malfunctioning. Oh, that's not bloody good, is it? That looks like the way out. I know that we need to save this bloke. Right, I think. Saying that thing. Oh, wait. Um, I think I remember now. There's a cog in here somewhere that we need for that wall. Um, it may be in here actually. Not 100% sure of that. Yes, there we go. Um, right. I think we also need that to save the guy. Well, on edge. What are you doing? Move! Oh god. Right, he's breaking through. Shit, shit. He's coming.
Oh shit, let's go, shit, shit, shit. Help me! I'll call on the men to save us from the hell hole. Alright then. Apparently you only have one life in this game, so if you die, you stay dead. So I've actually had to replay the entirety of the game up to this point. But um, I did look at a guide on how to do this so they're getting killed, and I did relatively miss an easy step. Um, so I'm just going to put this cook in again. That guy's trying to burst through the door. It's not an easy step, this is still quite a difficult one to do. I have to there's no joke about that. Don't. Oh, come on. Right. Now we have got to absolutely melt it. Right. Okay. Oh. Okay. And now shut this one, which we didn't do last time. Let's save a third guy. We need to turn this wheel as I was doing. Come on. Come on. This one. Shh. So I did it just in time. Oh, crap. Pack up, pack up. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. Run, 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 run. Beat me that she was not herself anymore. She thought it was time to find out. I think we saved that third guy then. I'm not sure if the winch had to be turned, had to be turned completely down, because I don't think we did that. But we turned the majority of the way down, so we should have saved him. Inspector Moreau, are you still with us? I'm looking forward to see if you managed to save him or not. I know very little about him, but surely he had a vamp, don't you think? Poor, poor, fatherless children. But he falls on his own sword. His kind is not meant to come for people like me. Laws are made for credence. The aristocracy doesn't need to know right from wrong. We are always right. Okay. Um. What's this? Shovel. I don't need a shovel. A lot of grave sites. This doesn't look pretty. No idea what I'm meant to do now. Just make our way through, I guess. The statue over here. Jeez, one put some clothes on. What was Mother like? She was the most beautiful creature ever to grace this world. I can't remember what she looked like, no matter how hard I tried. Her beauty was blinding, Justine. We could never dare to change such memory to our minds. It would be too much to bear. Oh, that's sad. Okay, this is another one over here. Where is that? Where does that lead? It all made sense, he thought. We all appreciate symmetry. Everyone is comforted by the casualty of logic. It gives the impression of a grand plan and that we may be able to grasp the inner workings of this perfect universe. You see, his wife had died while giving birth to his son. That is why he was able to forgive. His family was just giving in to the symmetry. And another scrap. Unfinished letter, the 2nd of February, 1839. Herbert, I have contacted the consul... the consulate... or consulate. And they said they will send you the permits you need for visiting Algeria. I wish you good luck on your search and that your findings will come at a lower price than mine. I'm at a loss with my studies, my daughter has become distraught and distant. I did little to control her behaviour, yet I believe the very notion of my observation has led her this way. My scientific indifference to our tests have not left with an indifferent opinion. She finds my lack of reaction disappointing. She judges me, and more impor most importantly herself, by the results of these tests. The reason I have, to have had trouble finding any consistency within her character is because she tries different approaches to provoke me, and her actions only become more and more disturbing. Yesterday I lost myself and scolded her. She was terrified and humiliated. It saddens me greatly to bring my studies to a close without seeing it to the end, but I can no longer justify my research. I have to mend my relationship with my daughter. 
Right. Okay. Is this a guy or a girl? This is a very masculine jumping sound. Just saying. I think that's it. And here. What's this? Gotta say. Grab it, come on. Well done. You have triumphed. Conquered my cabinet. I wish I could tell you how you did, but alas, this is a recording. You will have to figure it out all by yourself. Did anyone survive? The doctor? The priest? Or perhaps the policeman? Who was allowed to live? Why? You should really reflect on these past events and consider what they meant to you. What you have learned about your true nature. Father never knew me. He thought he did, but then he was frightened. And nothing was ever the same again. I can still see him, lying there on the floor. He looked so surprised. The star-shaped soapstone stained by his blood fell to the floor with a sonorous thud. Blame me not, for I was but a child. Jeez. With careful ambition. I dare to smile. Rest in peace, Papa. This kid is messed up. She killed her own father. <sighs> we must hurry, it's not too late. What will that perfect sphere bring? It will be the end of everything. The tattered yellow king shall dethrone. I think that's what it says. Stay alive. Okay, thanks for that info. Um, suffer the trial. Through the gates. From beyond it comes. Jeez, though, he's so much writing. They who burrow, they who burrow waits beneath. They, I can't even read what it's saying anymore. Pose will come to down. Oh, you know, screw it. It's all just crazy writing anyway. Right, so we're going down here. It seems a lot of cobwebs. Ooh. Spiders. That's my cup of tea. Come on, can we run, please? Some of the trial. I think some of these are just repeats. And so it comes to an end. Now that you have seen what you truly are. Able to go on and face eternity. Oh. Without fear. Without doubt. Oh, oh. Oh dear. The walls are closing in. It's right, so that's not soccer now. was the best one yet. So elaborate. It's just too
too much. Enough of this. Get up, Justine. Oh, well, where is he? God be praised. You have been child. Open the door. Hey, you! It's all right. No one will be coming through that door. It's locked and bolted. Right, so we did, we saved them all. What the hell is that? That's me, isn't it? All covered in chains. What? Is she that such intricate machinery? I can't for the life of me understand why he built this. Hey, but Hang on. The test, so the test was set up by Justine. And I'm Justine. But she says that must be Justine. Such a light was never meant for me. Right, I'm bloody confused. I'm assuming this is the end. Like I said it's not a massive game. I really should keep this door locked. Thanks for the commentary. That's my job. Okay. Mademoiselle Justine, are you down there? Is everything all right? Of course, Clarice, I'm quite all right. Is everything ready for tonight? Yes, the goose is ready any minute now. The guests should be arriving within the hour. Clarice, I know it's a busy day, but make sure to post this letter for me, okay? Certainly, Mademoiselle Justine. Urgent, is it? Not really. It's already years late. I just thought they should know. I'm still alive. <laughs> and there we go. That's the end of Amnesia Justine. That was actually quite terrifying, especially that bit in the middle. Well, not the middle, like the third quarter. I had to save the third guy. God, that's me. My heart skipped a beat when he killed me. <laughs> um, pff, right, the world's long. Oh, never mind. I was going to say the world's longest credits, but there's more to it. Um, but like last time, I'm going to let you watch through the whole thing, and I'll just quickly go through what will happen next time. So, that'll be Tuesday morning, when will be the next um, Amnesia video. Um, well, not the next Amnesia video, obviously we've finished with Amnesia now. Uh, now comes the time for you guys to decide what game you want to, me to play from now on. Um, like I said, uh, main games, Heavy Rain, Amnesia, Machine for Pigs. Um, we've got GTA 5. Actually, no, we'll, we'll start from GTA 3 if you want to go with the GTA route. And then we'll go 3, Vice City, San Andreas. Four episodes of Liberty City, and then five. We'll go in order from the third game. Um, God elves, really? That's a portal reference. I didn't. Are they the same? No, no, they're not. Because portals made by Valve. I don't know. The end. Yeah, I got that back. Um, I'm actually, probably gonna jump out of the game. So. What up? Oh no, it's, it won't. Never mind. Um, so you can decide if you want to go from the start of GTA 3. I think there was another game. Oh, there's one I forgot to mention. Um, actually, we'll do Papers, Please. That's a game I've got. Um, Bully Scholarship Edition. We can play that. Um, and I think maybe the Fear series I might start up if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, but make sure that you do leave me a comment below because obviously if you just watch the video, give it a like and then you leave it at that. I don't know what you guys want to see from now on. And obviously I need you guys to know, well I need to know what you guys want so that I can make the content that you want. But anyway, that's the end of Amnesia the Dark Descent completely and it's expansion back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.